have a seafood boil. So we got sauce. My mom forgot to get, um, I think, Pepsi for it. So she did orange, orange pop. So I might have a little zesty zest. We got some baked catfish, some shrimp. I'll show you guys. All right, so... about five months off a lot of things have happened i went on a date and well august i quit my job at five low got an interview with the hospital that i live nearby which ironically was the hospital i was born in got hired did the courses that need to be taken to pass for for the job did not pass so i was discharged in September and that month also I went on my first date that went well but the guy kind of got spooked off with my with my bold out there personality so yeah cried about it moved on such and such then I started looking for another job so I'm now working at an, uh, an eyeglass a glasses and contact store as the front desk receptionist which is fine it's, it's a job I just need to get paid <laughs> so I've been working there for a little over two months I will be in my third month in um, by next look at the calendar should be by next Wednesday or next Monday not next Wednesday next Tuesday so yeah so yeah a lot happened during those four months I've been off last month I matched with someone on Tinder we kind of been texting we FaceTime some of the FaceTimes did get a little spicy and we're now he asked me out last night on a date a coffee date after after my shift tomorrow so yeah we'll see where that goes so I thought since it's the four year anniversary I've been on here for four years I know I've been gone for four months. I do apologize for that. Just a lot of things have been happening. And and the YouTube channel kind of took a back turner. And I'll, I'm now on Twitch. So I play Sims 4. So I've been doing Legacy Challenge on that. But that's also been kind of been taking a back burner. Because I now work full time as a front desk receptionist. And you know. And then now... As of now, I am now going to be saving so I can get an apartment, be on my own, because I'm, I'm about to turn 25 in seven months. Well, a little over seven months, but yeah. So, we have a seafood boil. So, we got sauce. My mom forgot to get, um, I think, Pepsi for it, so she did orange, orange pop. So, I might have a little zesty zest. We got some baked catfish, some shrimp. I'll show you guys. All right, so catfish, shrimp, sausage, devil egg, potatoes, and crab legs. And then the sauce is in a Red Bull since, you know, better have it in a Red Bull because then you can't see the stains. So, yeah, and then we have some water and my 64 ounces bottle. Hold on one whole second. I forgot to close my door there we go sorry but sometimes I talk so loud you don't want to be rude so yeah so we now have some some stuff so like again again like I said it has been four months I do apologize because I, I said I was like to myself I was gonna do some makeup tutorials last month but I kind of got into this weird moody feeling. Mm. I didn't really want to do anything. not even like scream. Yeah. But yeah. Ooh. I love water. Then 
Yeah, so in September, I went out on a date with someone I matched on Bumble. We have very sim we had very similar views, perspectives on life, but I guess I was a little too opinionated about certain topics. And he was kind of a match. Hmm. A match with me. I actually was a little upset about it because I thought everything was okay. Like, we were actually vibing and off each other, but it is what it is. I cried. About it. And I went on also Facebook dating. Got a couple matches. One guy, he really was feeling me. He wanted to hook up, but, but I guess he dipped and disappeared. And somehow, I wasn't emotionally sad about that. So I'm like, why don't... Hmm, look at that. What is that? So it's like, if I don't physically see you, and we're not talking, connecting, I don't care. It might suck, but I'm not gonna boo-hoo over it. I was even with the last two guys from last year, the guy I I think I talked about going on a date in June. He just didn't like my personality because I'm too more too much of a homebody. That that one sucked because we actually did kind of connect. And then the guy went on my very first date. That hurt because we connected. I thought we connected. So yeah, but tomorrow, the guy I matched with on Tinder asked me out on a coffee date, so that'll be interesting. Whew. So let's get into these crab legs. So yeah, so I'm like nervous and excited, like... Like, last night, I was thinking, what the hell do I wear for a coffee date? Like, do I show off the girls, or is it something more simple and chill? But, yeah. But I figured out what I'm wearing. Mm. What's the best part? So I use my teeth to, like, crack. And then open it with either a thumbnail or acrylic. That you kind of work around. Oh, I hate when that happens when the meat pull breaks apart. And then dip it in the sauce. Mm. Well, once I finish this video, I gotta take a shower. So I know what scent I'm doing. I'm doing warm vanilla sugar. Because my sister got that for me two Christmases ago. And it comes with a diamond shimmering mist. So yeah. Mm. But yeah. I kind of like him. He definitely knows how to compliment me. And I love compliments. Like, I don't... Yeah. But strangely enough, I don't know what my um love language is. Because, you know, people say, well, my love language is words of affirmation. Some people are like physical touch. Some people are like gifts. That kind of stuff. I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, I have had crush on people, but I've never been actually in love with somebody that's an actual person that knows me. Oh, yeah. So, that would be interesting. And then, I gotta start looking at apartments now, because our lease is up here in September, and I'm trying to get everything set by August. I'm too, too weird to be doing that, but I like to scoop. 
so yeah. Um, I've been looking at apartments by a train station. Not a train station, but a light station, a light rail station. Where it has like a gas station and then you have like a grocery store and then Walgreens. And then like McDonald's a couple blocks down. So yeah. It's definitely an apartment I like have my eye on for sure. But I definitely I'm gonna be on my own by by the time I'm twenty five. So the plan is for me. Every paycheck I get per month. Well not per month, but bi weekly. Every two weeks, I put 300 into my savings account. Well, that would just put me at 600 a month, except for, I think, March and June, which would be 900. So by the time August comes around, I should be good on first month, last month, and Social Security. Not Social Security, Security Deposit. I know now, maybe I should start looking for a roommate. Well, that way, I can split the bills with them. So, like, they'll pay for the internet, I'll pay for, like, the electricity and such and such. You know, I kind of struggle. But then I'm, I don't really trust people with my stuff. And then I feel like some people just don't respect boundaries enough for me to be living with. If I'm like, well, I don't really know. Try to make sure it's not the guy I've been talking to for like the last two to three weeks. Yeah. But yeah. So that's my plan is every three hundred dollars every two weeks in the month. I put three hundred aside. So like for example, this week I get paid, so Surprisingly, the bank I'm with, I now get get my paycheck a day earlier. So, what I would do, for example, is give my mom the three times for rent, and put another three hundred into my ooh, into my account, into my savings account. saying about my Twitch channel. Now, let's go on to my Twitch channel. I started it, I think, in September. And I've been doing a legacy challenge. But I feel like that's the easiest challenge you can do besides, like, some of the scenarios they offer on Sims 4. Because I would not do a 100 baby challenge. I, I hate the babies. Sims 4. They're annoying as fuck. Like, absolutely annoying. You're like, you're an adult. 
The young adult adult Sims can't do anything. Without the baby crying. But then again, isn't that real life? But yeah. So. Yeah. So right now, in my legacy challenge, I'm on the second legacy. And I know what? Why it took you so long? Hmm. In October, I was doing kind of like a spooky legacy challenge where I have my matriarch just be a spellcaster, pretty much a witch. I wasn't trying to get, um, try to get, um, Well, with the vampires, but, you know, things happen. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna definitely do that. Mm. But, yeah. So, let me tell you what happened with the founder of the legacy Marella Redmond she fell in love with Paulo Rocco 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 I'm gonna go with Rocco he's one of the get together pack expansion pack so I have the have this mod that gives you a little more realistic pregnancy experience. So, Morella, she wants kids because she has the family oriented trait from Sims 4. While, while Paolo, he doesn't want kids. But, they end up getting pregnant while they're dating. So, Paolo does the right thing, proposes to her, and they elope. But, he's still not happy about having kids. And even after having their daughter, Georgia, he still didn't want kids. So, one night, Marla has to go out for her job. She is um, a gamer from the high school years pack. So, she goes to a bar and meets Jacquid, who's also from the Get Together expansion pack. So, from the Wicked Whims, who's mod, you can like find another sim and it'll be like, oh, this sim is very attractive and it'll make you flirty, really flirty. So, I have her flirt with him. Because she finds him attractive. Like, extremely attractive. And he reciprocates those feelings. So, they start having a full on affair. Which ends up. getting Morella pregnant with his child. Paul finds out and hurt. Like, hurt. So, Morella explains the reason why she cheated on him is 
thing was, you didn't want to have kids while I do. So their relationship is pretty much in the dots. Yeah. Then she has him. Well, Paulo has her break up with Jacqueline. And Jacqueline's not happy about that because you're like, oh, so you're breaking up with me because your partner, your husband told you to. So yeah, their relationship is supposedly over until he calls her to go to Solani, the um, world from I Live In. So yeah, so they go. And their relationship is back on track. They're full on affair. So, so she goes home to her husband. Who, who still thinks she broke up with John Quay. Yep. And then into her third trimester, he asked her to go to a place in um, Windenburg, the world, and get together in front of pack. They woohoo in a bush, which causes her to go into labor. So she does not ask. Jacques went to go to the hospital with him. Oh! And I forgot to mention that Paulo was like, okay, I will raise this child as my own so long as you dump him. So, yeah. And then I believe, even then, so like, Morella lied to Jocelyn like this is your baby. Mm-hmm. So Jocelyn doesn't even know she's pregnant with his baby. He's thinking she's pregnant with Paulo's baby. a baby boy named Tim Nicholas. She names him Nicholas. She and Paolo raises him, but their relationship is still not good. Because, whoa, he's raising the result of her affair. You know, he said he would. <clears throat> he was giving. And then, he decides, Paul decides to get back. Get back at Morale, like cheating on her. With his old roommate Jade Rosa, who's also from the Get Together Pack, Bella sees them doing little naughty things in their living room. So yeah, so he tells her, "I did it to get good even with you for cheating on me and having a baby with that affair partner." Mhm, mm mhm. Mm so yeah. While all that is happening, 
Georgia ages up to a teenager, and I decide she should be rebellious because she's seeing her parents getting into fights, not be lovey-dovey as they are when she was younger. So, she meets and falls in love with Alexander Goth, who we all know is one of the most well-known talents in Little Creek. Base game world. So, I also have base mental, base mental mod. Well, I have drugs and alcohol in the game. So, I have him be a drug dealer. You know, because I, I thought, thought it would be saucy to have her fall in love with her drug dealer and wanting to be like, do all these drugs with him. So, yeah. Well, they start dating. They even go to prom together. And during prom, after the, at the after party, they decided to take the relationship to the next level, if you know what I mean. S which causes Georgia to end up getting pregnant with their first child, Morella's first grandchild. Now, Morella finds out not only is she doing drugs, she's also pregnant. So she demands Mortimer and pretty much, well not, I didn't get, uh, I don't want to do that, but, pretty much, pretty much demands that, demands that Mortimer and Bella let their eldest son move in with her daughter their grandchild. Um, we do. And surprisingly, Alexander aged up to a younger dog. Well, Morello, Morella and Paulo told him, you either get a job or go to college. Because you will not just be sitting around here in this house. And then, oh, I forgot to mention, at that time as well, Morel is pregnant with her third child, too. So she is, you, have you ever watched that, um, it's called a show, I'm Pregnant and My Teenage, my teenage Daughter is Pregnant, too? Something like that. It was on TLC. So, yeah. So, Morel is pregnant, also with her third child. And I decided I decided then and there that if it's a girl or a boy, it doesn't matter. That Paul is gonna be a way harder to her well, to that that third child as well as as well as well to Georgia and not have a really good relationship with Nicholas because remember he is the the result of the affair between Rella and Jacques Witt. Oh yeah. So Nicholas does notice that Paulo is more of a father to Georgia and, and their baby Ruby. No, nah, not Ruby. Rhea. It starts to wonder. Why their relationship isn't as good as his eldest sister and youngest sister. Her younger sister's relationship. So, so 
when he finds out that he is not Hollow's son. That's why he doesn't have a relationship with his stepfather. Well, his father. Because on his birthday, his biological father sent him a gift. really lose it like the way Georgia did yeah so oh look at look at that mm. I love it I love it when this happens so yeah Yeah. So that's what's happening with Nicholas. His relationship with his father is good because he now knows that he is not his, his son. Ooh, look at that! Another piece came out nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, yeah. Mm. I wasn't heavily focused on the other two kids Morella and um, Paulo had, but they do have two daughters, one Rhea and Ruby, since by the time Ruby was born, Georgia aged up to the younger doll, and I was like, now's her time. But yeah, so I have... Umbrella and her family move out, leaving the the house to Alexander and Georgia and their family. And and then crazy thing is Alexander is the same way like his father in law does not want any kids. Wow. Well, Georgia is just like her mother and wants as many kids as as many kids she can have. So, she decides to be just like her mother and look for companionship elsewhere. And she finds it with J. Huntington III. I think he's from the base game. So, yeah. And Crazy enough, he ages up to an elder when they're doing the devil's tango. And I have her do the devil's tango with Jay and Alexander. She ends up getting pregnant, but does not know who the father is because she did take it. The devil's tango. With both of them, so she does not know who the father is. So she had to do a paternity test. Lo and behold, Alexander is the father. Their relationship is now on the rocks. Because he cheated. She cheated on him. Like in her child be childhood bedroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they have a son. Name him Alexander. Uh, Niall is their eldest child, but he's now in high school. son who's now in high school and he's now in a relationship with um 
Ashley, Ashley Sterling. Yeah. They like did a little promise ring and everything. Yeah. Then Xavier. And they also then again fixed their relationship. Alex and Georgia fixed their relationship. their relationship and then end up having their youngest daughter their youngest child their first daughter Sabrina now, Sabrina just aged up to a um a toddler and Xavier just aged up to a kid and we're still working with Niall with his um ambition of a goal achiever which is a part of the high school years pack besides that Oh yeah, Bella and Mortimer both died. Mortimer from age, old age. I think Bella from the Death Chicken, which is a new death. Um, Hodge Livy. And they ended up having seven kids together, and then. When Mortimer died from old age, well, I ended up having another child from a sperm, a sperm donor. Because when, when I went on the family tree for the last child, she didn't have a dad. So I'm assuming it was um, by a sperm donor. Whew. I'll tell you, I can kill. So, yeah. And the legacy challenge as of now. Mm. So I'm almost done. The seafood boil. I'm pretty much out of sauce and I'm on my last last leg. So after this, I'm gonna take my shower. I love it when it comes out in one little one piece. Um, I'm gonna take my shower and then I'm gonna edit this video and then upload it into my YouTube channel. Oh, I miss seafood. Think that's everything. I killed them crab legs, all right. So yeah. So it looks like it is the end of the seafood boil. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, or evening. Until then, bye guys and happy New Year's.